guys, Gary here, at Yo Gert on Twitter, Y-O-G-R-R-T-T. -T. I'm here with Nat Will in Rotation to give you a first listen review of Little Sky's debut mixtape, debut project, debut album, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Uh, Life of a Dark Rose, because I'm a very dark flower. And yeah, uh, I didn't, I don't fuck with that title. I don't fuck with, uh, I fuck with Little Skies. I think, I think, uh, I don't know, Red Roses was cool, very good. Um, I don't know if that was in part due to Landon's switch up at the end, like I've said in uh, our top 50 video, but it was a top 50 song for me of the year. So there's no debating that I didn't like the song or that I did like the song. Uh, but Nowadays came out, and when Nowadays came out, that kind of hit me in the jaw, and I was like, okay, no, Little Skies is, he's killing it. I like Rude, I like, uh, there's some other little Lucy's, he was doing some features with young bands, uh, Wi-Fi Funeral, within the same week, uh, and then Nowadays, like I was saying, it, it, that dropped all kind of cluster fucked to just prove to me that Little Skies was being accepted by the mainstream, not that young bands or Wi-Fi Funeral are the most mainstream, but just the fact that other labels are fucking with him and seeing him as someone that they want to put on features with someone who's already been like established or been around such as a Wi-Fi funeral like to put those two together I would look at it like maybe they're trying to use the traction of Little Sky so this guy's big there's no really arguing that at this point he has a lot of traction he's in that same camp with like Little Xan where they're just popping off and their social media trajectories as of late just really are not by the books by any means and are quite a fucking thing to look at to be honest uh but this this album <clears throat> i don't know man it's, it's it's a first listen so i'm obviously gonna listen to it more uh but the songs that i vibed with the most were the ones that i knew and a lot of the lines that he was like i don't know i thought he was like I've always kind of hyped up his lyrical integrity. Like, I thought he was a really good songwriter, and that's true, but there's a lot of corny lines on this shit. There's a lot of corny, uh, just sentences and lyrics and just, uh, very basic, very basic level, surface level wordplay getting thrown around. But now that I'm saying that, like, I guess wordplay and lyrics and what you're saying I guess they, I guess they don't necessarily constitute as good songwriting. Like you could be a beautiful songwriter, but not have the most fucking deep lyrics. And while he is good at imagery, I do still stand by that. He always is saying shit that I can paint a picture in my head almost immediately with, or at least have my own in, uh, like interpretation of what he's saying based off of the words. Uh, but yeah, man, fuck. This album just didn't do it for me on first listen. It's just one of those things where there's a lot of cool songs. I can't shout them out by name because I have been driving listening to this, but I do, I can say that there are songs on there that are good, but the way that album fucking plays out, like Welcome to the Rodeo is the first song on the fucking album, and that's a good song. I like that song a lot, but then there's, there's no fucking progression I guess I guess you don't need progression when it's your coming out party but when your coming out party is like very kind of repetitive and a little stale I, on first listen like I think you should have switched it up maybe and maybe shown that like hey Red Roses is one thing nowadays is kind of an expansion on that same type of song or same type of idea but bro like you're very good at rapping and you're very good at singing and you're very good at integrating those two together seamlessly. No one, that's why I think the, the, the mainstream's taking such a hard gravitation towards you because you're very, very good at singing, rapping and rapping and singing and doing the sing rap and the rap sing and all that stuff. And like, that sounds good. Your vocals sound good. You as an artist sound good. But at the same time, you sound like every sing, like every, every, no, you sound about, you sound like seven SoundCloud rappers. You sound like about seven SoundCloud rappers just put together. Like, you don't have a sound that is consistently yours, I don't think. And, like, just to say that you're good at sing rapping and, like, you're probably the best right now or you're the best at seamlessly integrating those or whatever the fuck I was saying, like, that isn't really a, like, a, a style that is yours, man. Like, that's a Drake style. Like, that's some shit that exists forever. It's just, that's what people like. That's what's popular. But, um... I'm excited to listen to this more, and I'm very excited for Little Sky's future. Um, this, it, it's a 
good first project. It just sucks that the guy has fucking 20 million plays, so we're trying to see what the fuck's going on. It's on Spotify, on Apple Music, on uh, SoundCloud, uh, Little Skies on all that. Follow him at Little Skies, I'm sure, on everything as well. Uh, this has been an hour notation first listen review slash impression. My name is Garrett at YoGurt on Twitter, Y-O-G-R-T-T. -T. Thank you.